that smile. What an incredible lineup of vehicles. I can't leave you out. I can't leave you out. I'm excited. We're going to have like a mosh pit right now. What an incredible lineup of vehicles. And here with me are some of the team behind it. What do you think, folks? This is the seventh generation of the Motor City's hometown sports car. And y'all made it happen. Y'all made it happen. So many y'all made it happen. So let's start with you, Alicia, if you could, down there at the end. Tell us about the evolution that took place behind the scenes to deliver this new Mustang lineup, please. Yeah, of course. So the development of any of our products always starts with the customer. And as you saw in that amazing film earlier, of course, Mustang is an American icon, but it's also a global icon. I've been super lucky and been able to live and work in, in different countries. So I've had a front row seat to how our enthusiasts across the globe just love that Mustang spirit of style, fun, and freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like the people here, right? Like the people here, do you like style, fun, freedom, no? <laughs> yeah, of course you do. Yeah, that goes. You, can, you can feel that passion in the crowd. And, and that's really the thing about Mustang. It is not a demographic, it's a mindset. But there are key things that ties our Mustang enthusiasts together. So one is their love and passion for Mustang, of course, but also their desire to express their personality and individuality with their Mustang. And everything that our customers love is here today in this yeah. lineup. We have got a GT convertible, a GT coupe, We've got the EcoBoost Coupe, and of course, there's also an EcoBoost convertible. But this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of how our customers can make their Mustang their own. All right, you keep teasing us again. We're going to get into it. We're going to go deep dive. We have our team here. So how has your team been able to modernize such an icon? You know, I mean, it's, it's a challenge, and it's a responsibility. You have all these fans saying, what's next? Yeah, well, the pressure was on for sure, uh, but we have kept the spirit of Mustang. We have got that V8 soundtrack. We've got the manual transmission. We've got that open air, top down fun. But we've also injected it with new features and technologies to take that Mustang experience up a notch. Okay, so I got to ask, you're part of the team, you're working on this, you know, you got your hands all over, you got your fingerprints on it. What's your favorite? Well, there's, there's a lot to choose from. But I really love, we've got a, um, a Fox Body Mustang theme cluster. It will take you <laughs> right back to the 80s. It's really cool. And it's even got a night mode with that iconic Ford green night color. It's awesome. You're saying Fox Body. You said iceberg earlier. I'm thinking of vanilla ice and the yeah. 5.0, so I'm yeah. my hair top. Like, you're, all this vanilla ice talk. I don't know, again, Fox Body, ice, it, it, I mean, it, it's insane. What else have you got? Yeah, we've also got some really cool new performance features. Uh, we've got one that I know you are going to love. It's an electronic drift brake. Very cool. Yep. And we've also got a new feature called Remote Rev. It is 100% Mustang fun. No apologies. It's for our customers that just love the sound of their Mustangs. You can rev your throttle directly from the palm of your hands from your key fob. <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> That's so cool, yeah. right? I mean, cars and coffee, that's a big flex, but I'm here for it. That's awesome, right? <laughs> hey, you want to hear my car? <laughs> right? I mean, that's yeah, so cool. That's it. All right, that's I can't awesome. wait to learn more. And you know I'm a drift guy. I'm the voice of drift, formula drift. Vaughn's a homie of mine. Electronic drift, it's so awesome. But now I have to ask this, because you've been around Mustangs for years. This interior is amazing. But Ruth, let's step inside the cockpit, because obviously you can see inside the convertible a little yeah. easier here. But tell me everything, Ruth. Okay, so there's so much to tell you, Jared. But first, you know, on the previous Mustang, people liked the pony lighting, and we just took it a step further with the new Mustang. So as okay. you approach, you'll see animated lighting that just greets you. And then when you climb in and you see the new cockpit, it looks like a jet fighter. That was the inspiration behind the design. So we've just added a lot of digital tech into this new cockpit. 
I mean, look at it. There's the beautiful? cockpit right there. You can see it here on the big screen. And cockpit. you're talking about Jet Pilot. We've probably all seen Top Gun. If you haven't, you live under a rock. I have the old one or the new one. <laughs> so, you know, I, I can't wait to uh, take this for a quote unquote test flight. It's, it's pretty, it's a game changer. So give us the details more about the cockpit. Well, as you can see, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous, right? It's a single piece of glass that houses two large displays, one for the all new digital cluster and one for the Sync 4 center stack. Mm -hmm. Look at the craftsmanship, the fine materials used, the big, large piece of glass. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely. And it is. Thank yeah, you. it looks good. It's <laughs> elevated, right? Because this is the it canvas, is. so it's completely customizable, and you kind of kick that off. But it yeah, definitely is customizable. So, like you said, with it being customizable, even if we go back to some of the performance, right, you can just dial in your performance by the selectable, customizable, selectable drive modes. And we have up to six that you can customize for your driving conditions. And then other customizations are going to be my color. And the cluster themes, Alicia mentioned the Fox body, so you can select it on the center stack, see the preview, hit the select button, and it's instantly on your digital cluster. Your gauges and then other screens within your cluster, you can just customize, see previews on the sync screen, and then it's there on your awesome. cluster. Awesome. What about the soundtrack of I life? Know. What about the and soundtrack? as you're driving, you remember you mentioned that Vanilla Ice song? That's well, right. If you want to turn up the volume, you've got that 12-speaker B&O sound system. So Love like it. you said, we just can't wait for our customers to get behind the wheel, play with all the new features that we have to offer. Awesome. So really great. Round of applause for Ruth and Alicia. <laughs> the interior is truly <laughs> revolutionary. Thank you so much. All right, Chris, we talked about interior, we talked about design, we talked about all these different elements here, but uh, you've been with the program for two generations. Yeah. So talk to us about the design. I'm looking at the striking good looks, the color, what's going on here. But uh, I mean, it has yeah. kind of some heritage look here as well, yeah. some inspiration, what and have we got? It absolutely does. You know, the seventh gen Mustang is a modern interpretation of Mustang's iconic design heritage. I mean, just check it out. Proportions, stance, the silhouette. Yeah. You want to go check out the front? Let's go, let's go, All let's right. go, let's go tip to tail okay. here from the front end to the back end. What do we got? And again, seeing some lines, seeing yep. some signature pieces, but again, evolution. Right, right. So for the front end of the seventh gen, we wanted to give it an aggressive look. So it's kind of got that long horizontal brow. So you're gonna see that thing coming down the road behind you. It's mean, right. The um, upper grille shape, it's kind of a nod to the 60s design. It's a kind of that U shape, but you're gonna notice the EcoBoost and the GT completely distinct. Two distinct front ends, first time. Really deciphers Eco, you know, obviously, yep. Eco versus standard V8 or GT. In, in you know, every GT, we get this badass hood extractor right here. Looks good, right, I like it. Right. This, this shape right here, from the nose, the chamfers, what do we got? Yeah, so, you know, the chamfered nose, that's kind of a classic thing that's been happening in the past few generations. Also, right below that chamfered corner, tri-bar headlamps. Right? Love them. That's Looks good. I mean, what do you guys think? Good looking headlights, Mustang right? Signature. They look good. It's, it's just that evolution, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel like you just <laughs> exhale, like, do they like it? I think they like it. Okay, yeah. we're good. We're moving on. Okay. We're moving on. All right, let's 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 move over here. Let's move All over right. here. Uh, let's, let's talk about this silhouette. What's going right. on here? All right. So for the side, okay, we dropped the belt line. Okay, we relaxed it. Less wedge, more muscle. All Just right. like me. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So you know, you talk about muscle. Check out the body side. Right. This all new sheet metal. This sheer, strong, chiseled. There's no undercuts. Kind of like American muscle. Right. <laughs> also, uh, there's a really cool story about the roof line because you took into consideration all your races out there because there's nobody that races out there, right? Uh, the roof line here, it accommodates big heads like mine or better yet for the racers. Well, for those racers out there, you don't have to take your helmet off to get in and out. Yeah, so, so it's got that nice accepting yeah. so you don't have to take your helmet exactly. off or on when you get out and right. inside, of the, right. inside of the vehicle. Awesome. Right. Let's go out back. Hey, got, this is like favorite part, right? Right here, okay. favorite part. These really wide rear shoulders. Again, with the chiseled looks, you know, that's uh, kind of pointing to where the power hits the road. Exactly, rubber, right. rubber meets right. the road. Right. You put the power down, you got to connect. Yep. Uh, long extended rear deck uh, kind of gives you this really sharp angle and side view. And it's, um, it gives it a really killer look from a rear view. Really wide, mean. Yep. And also these um, crisp tail lamps, really razor edge. Uh, plays up to, again, that chiseled feel, 
Yeah, just, and, and you could see just the signature looks, but it's just that overall progression that right. you guys are paying homage, but paying it forward. We talked about the personalization of the car, the diffuser, all these different things, but this is where it kind of starts. Yep. And we know that people either watching or in the building are all about exterior customization. What do we got there? And there's so many options for the Mustang owners out there. We got new colors. We got vapor blue here. Yellow splash is a new one for us. Options for all kinds of exterior stripe packages. We have four different interior environment, environments. Uh, you can customize anything from wheels to seat belts. I like it. And uh, let's talk about performance. I mean, if they say speed kills, brakes give life because there are performance brake options as well with Brembo. Oh, we, well, we've got three exciting Brembo brake caliper options. Check out the uh, special color for this year. It looks good. I understand you could also put the pony on there if you wanted to as well. So let everybody know yep. it's a Ford Mustang. Yeah, it's really cool. What else do we got? Well, we have some uh, two new uh, bespoke factory options. Uh, we've got the bronze appearance package, which you're going to see here on the EcoBoost. And we also have the um, black design series package, too. So many options. What do you guys think? Make some noise for Chris. 